Hey guys, thanks for showing up. This is part of the buyer's guide series where we're gonna just talk about the best sort of equipment you can buy for a fixed amount of money. This video, we're gonna talk about 50 bucks. What can 50 bucks get you? Generally, it can get you about 40 to 50 pounds of free weight. That's it. Well, that would be a very poor use of your money. Let's try to figure out what we can use $50 for to get the most versatility and the best bang for our buck. Then, hopefully, if you scratch up a little bit more money, we then add 50 bucks on top of it, and that 50 becomes 100. Well, then what can you get for 100? But those are different videos. This is gonna start with 50 bucks. 50 bucks can't get you much, but it can get you a good starter's kit so that you're uh, versatile enough, like I said, to do some stuff at home. So my suggestion is, I've got my list here. You're gonna, the first thing you're gonna wanna buy is a door anchor. This thing will cost three to four dollars at your local sporting goods store. Uh, you can also buy it from Amazon for like five bucks. This will go in any door. You shut the door on it, and then this gives you a very, very good pull, uh, a very good anchor for you to put your resistance bands on. A lot of people don't have somewhere to put their resistance bands, and if you say you step on your resistance bands, with your foot while you're doing exercises, that is ridiculous and that is a surefire way to get hurt and snap and, and fly across the room when your foot slips. Get something like this, put it on the door, and I don't know how to explain this, but when you shut the door on it, make sure the door isn't resting on this part with the little doorknob part. How can I explain this? You wanna shut the door onto this so that you won't pull the whole door frame down. Basically, that's what it's doing. It's leveraging the entire door frame and the door itself to make sure that you won't pull it down. Now, if you shut the door on it like this, well, then the only thing that's preventing this thing from sliding out is the little door latch. And that is dumb, and that will fall out, and you will fall backwards. So remember, buy this thing for five bucks. Now you've got a really solid tether point for any of your bands but make sure you shut the door um, this way on it. You'll get what I'm saying once you figure it out and you're actually at a door frame, okay? Be safe with this, but once you set it up, you're golden. So we got this for five bucks. The next thing you're gonna wanna buy is two bands. Why two bands? Because you're gonna want something heavier and you're gonna want something lighter. The lighter thing you can use for shoulders, maybe some chest, some lighter chest exercises, you're gonna want a heavier band to do some rows with. Then, if those bands are, are compatible, you can stack them together and use it for a really, really strong compound, not compound exercise, but like a, like a, a row. Remember, your rows are gonna be a lot stronger than something for like a tricep or your chest or your core, okay? So, you're gonna to wanna to buy a light band this is a long band that's lighter. It has a lot of stretch to it, so a lot of range of motion. It's perfect, okay? Then I would buy, oh, and this band will probably cost you between 10 and 15 or 20 bucks, okay? Then you're gonna want a heavier band. This is heavier band is gonna be for your rows. It might be for a chest, a chest press, because those big muscle groups require more tension. Um, so this would be for your chest and your back. This might be for other exercises. Stack them together at the same time, and now you've got a really, really hard pull because there's three bands working together, okay? Well, two bands, but you've got this handle and this handle working together. Then you stack it with this one around the, the door anchor, and now you're good to go. Hopefully, you're getting your bands the same length, so they're not, one's not shorter than the other, but that's up to you as far as which ones you buy. The next thing we're gonna go to is an ankle cuff. This costs $5. Now, what you've got is you've got something that can train your legs with bands. Don't tell me you're gonna stick your foot through this little handle and then, uh, <laughs> I've seen people do this, and then they contract their foot to keep it in a U position, and this rests in their arches, and then they do their band work. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Buy an ankle cuff. This will go around your ankle, and now you can work on some leg back kicks, some hip extension, some hip abduction. You can do some high knees to work on your hip flexors and your quads. You can even do like a kick out, right? You know that ridiculous machine? 
It's called the knee extension where you sit on it and you go well, that machine's ridiculous because you're sitting down. It's not a bad exercise if you're involved in like a, like some sort of kicking sport. Like if you're a soccer player, that is a really good exercise if you can do it in a standing position, in a dynamic position, and you're kicking out against that band. Anyways, so this will now transform your bands from an upper body exercise into a leg exercise. With free weights, what's 50 bucks gonna get you? 50 bucks really can't get you much if you're gonna do like a deadlift or a goblet squat or something like that. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Another $5 will get you a triangle handle. The reason why for five bucks this is worth it is because it, will, it can amalgamate both handles at the same time. These handles that they get you, that they give you stock are terrible. It's plastic, it's kind of a clunky feel and if you stack them together, you now have to hold both of them together and they're plastic, it just doesn't feel so good. This bad boy is a metal triangle with beautiful foam grips. It feels nice in your hands and what you can do is take both band handles and rather than having to keep them together, you can loop them using this carabiner on the triangle attachment around the bands the nylon's just getting stuck, okay? And now, instead of me pulling these crappy plastic ends, I'm actually pulling an attachment. If you like a triceps rope, or if you like a single rope, or you like uh, um, those, uh, those other sort of cable attachments, same thing, buy them, hook them onto your bands, and now you're, you're using like the same um, attachments you would use on your cable stack at the gym, but now you can use it with your bands. So, if you bought the door anchor for five, a heavy band for, let's just call that 15, a light band for 10, an ankle cuff for five, and a triangle handle for five. We're at 10, 20, 32, 37. We've got about 10 bucks left to spend with tax. The next thing I would buy um, would be an agility ladder, okay? Because the agility ladder transforms so many things that you can now start to do inside your house it gives you a reference point, all of the benefits that I've talked to you about in the agility ladder videos. Um, Push-up bars could run you 10 to 30 bucks. So if you buy more expensive ones, you might now have to take something else out to get something else in. But for 50 bucks, if you buy the ankle cuff for your legs, the door anchor so that your bands can go into it. This is the starter kit. Then you get one band, then you get another band, and you get your ankle cuff, you're good to go. Then add to that the triangle attachment and you got 10 or 12 bucks to spend elsewhere, whatever it is you feel that's necessary, I would buy an agility ladder and there's your $50 to really get started. Check in later for the $100 buyer's guide where we get to buy more stuff. Thanks for showing up.